Shalom Chaveirim. Some of the most dramatic encounters between man and God takes place on mountains. Starting from Abraham, Abraham Avinu, Abraham our father, his final test is on Mount Moriah. Then we have the Jewish people receiving the Torah on Mount Sinai. We have Moses taking a glimpse at the promised land at the fulfillment of his life on Mount Nebo. We have the famous encounter with, with Elijah the prophet on Mount Carmel and so on. It's something that we should think about. What is the significance of mountain? And why does Hashem single out mountains to have the, to, and to dramatize the connection between him and man. There are many reasons given. I would like to suggest a thought. First, I'd like to also uh, uh, make an observation that in this magnificent, beautiful world that God created, some of the most scenic areas are highlighted by mountains. It's almost like the beautiful valley is highlighted by the height of the mountains that are surrounding it. Or a serene lake, the backdrop, backdrop of mountains, or for that matter, even the Pacific Ocean crashing where I live, and you see the craggy hills and cliffs. I mean, it's, the contrast adds a depth and a beauty which is truly sublime. Well, let's think for a moment about a mountain. The very idea of looking at a mountain means you have to lift your eyes. That itself changes a perspective. Instead of looking at the ground, instead of looking downwards, a mountain invites you to look upwards. And that itself is noble. When you're on the mountain, we don't only look at the trees anymore, we see the forest. When we're on the mountain, we see further. At times we see clearer. Our view becomes more expansive. Perhaps the whole idea of a mountain is the concept of a person lifting himself. After all, what is a mountain? Isn't a mountain only earth? And yet, when the earth gets elevated, somehow it creates a different dimension. It, it, it helps open up and broaden vistas, though it's the same earth in the valley. But because it's elevated, everything around it and everything that's connected to it becomes elevated and majestic as well. My friends, there are moments of time which we could liken to a mountain. For example, the high holidays. There's the beginning of the year, Rosh Hashanah. There's the, the Sabbath in between, the Shabbos of Teshuvah, of return. We have the Day of Atonement. And indeed, the entire month of Elul, the four weeks which precede Rosh Hashanah, it's just ordinary time, seven days, 24 hours. But these are very special times. Somehow, we feel a little bit higher than the mundane. Somehow the usual is trite. We're, we're looking for something a little deeper. Perhaps we're looking to connect the mountain inside of us, the heights of our soul, what the soul is capable of reaching. Perhaps that's what we're looking for. Indeed, a mountain is beautiful and it's a gift. When we use time appropriately, especially these auspicious times, these are times that can do far for, more for us than an ordinary day. So this Elul, the month before Rosh Hashanah, let's see further than ourselves. Let's see if we could have a broader vision. Perhaps we can understand that life is more important than my paycheck and my breakfast. Perhaps there's something bigger than me, such as a world, such as my community, 
certainly such as my family. Challenge yourself. You know what you've done for yourself today. You worked out, you showered, you uh, were entertained or you entertained. Can you say the same of what you've accomplished for someone else? What have you done for God? He said, well, I don't have to do anything for God. God has everything. But yes, if you in, look into the Torah, you will see God asking you to be his partner. God gives life. Be his partner. Give life. God gives sustenance. Be his partner. Give charity. God gives wisdom. Be his partner and teach Torah. God loves man. Be his partner. Love your fellow man and especially your fellow Jew. So my friends, the beauty of a mountain is indescribable. You have to be there to appreciate it. You can look at postcards from today to, to forever. It will not equal being on that mountain. Let's use the time appropriately. Shalom. I wish you great heights and broad vistas. Shalom.